Recently, I've had the honor to work with 2016 Olympian Maddie Sasser, who had been dealing with some left knee pain for over three years that limited her ability to train consistently and perform how she knew she was capable of. I started our first session by watching her move. You can see a small shift to her left side with this bodyweight squat. And when trying to do a single leg squat, it was extremely shaky with some pain as well. Now it's important to remember that most cases of knee pain when lifting are due to problems at the hips and or the ankles. The knee is only where the symptoms are. When screening her ankles, her right side was actually more stiff than her left. When screening her hips, she had fairly symmetrical hip internal rotation, however, had a significant difference with the Faber test, showing her left side had a problem extending and externally rotating. These restrictions made sense as she would commonly shift to the left side on the descent of squats, away from the restricted ankle and unable to open her left hip. To address the restricted right ankle, I recommended banded joint mobilizations, with a heavy band pulling down on the top of the foot while she drove her knee forward for 10 repetitions. You can see upon retesting that her mobility was much improved compared to the first test. For the restricted left hip, we used the kettlebell weight shift, opening her hip and shifting her knee over her toe until she felt a good stretch in her left groin. I recommended 5-6 to six reps for a 5 second hold. When retesting her hip mobility, you can see a big change compared to the start. Now that we had addressed her mobility limitations, it was time to do some strength testing. I already knew that her stability was a problem from the single leg squat test, but I still wanted to do one more test. When testing her lateral hip strength on the right side, she was able to resist my push pretty well. But when I did the same on the left, it easily dropped, showing a pretty big strength deficit in the lateral left glutes. We started our early strength work with the side plank clamshell, holding the top position for 5 seconds and doing 10 reps. This was an exercise we just used for the first few weeks and eventually cut it out as she got more out of pain. One exercise that has been a mainstay in her program from day one was the touchdown single leg squat off a stack of plates. The first day, I incorporated a slight RNT pull to help teach her body how to feel for the problem of knee control and maintain stability. Eventually, we would take the RNT pull away and just do the touchdown as a warm-up before lifting. The first day, she was able to get back to squatting after her rehab exercises and lift up to 75 kilos 100% pain-free. And this is the first time she was able to do this weight pain-free for the first time in three years. Eventually, I also added in the unassisted hip airplane drill to work on steering her strength about her hips. We did two sets of five slow repetitions on each side. With this plan in place, Maddie has been able to lift almost completely pain-free with squats and her Olympic lifts, the first time she's been able to do so in years consistently, showing that she is on the right track to put up some big numbers soon in competition whenever she's ready to return. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have